Hey guys, we're going to do a different style of video today. It's a little bit shorter, um, but that is also because of how crappy the race was, to be completely fair. Um, this is Strange Ranch Mideast. Um, you know, looks pretty, you know, dusty and like good conditions when you sit here on the starting line, but anyone that raced this race knows um, it, was, it was mayhem. Mud holes everywhere. Um, and that will be the highlight of today's race analysis, will be mud holes. Um, you know, you know, avoiding them and Making correct lines. Colton Shields, Noah Super Cooper, and Aiden Myers. shot but you know poor Andrew Venata got tangled up on the start uh, with Brody there he is he's just getting going and the chaos is about to start already with the mud holes I had not walked this section actually so I was not 100% sure but uh, this one section up ahead I did walk but you'll end up seeing what happened <laughs> here is I start seeing there's a million lines every direction and I miss the left side right there you'll see it right there on the left and I just start following Cole and I just go over the bars straight into the deepest hole I had actually pointed this line out to dad and a few buddies in the morning to the left there and went right in it I know. why didn't you stay over to the side I couldn't see the line prime example of uh, the initial start panicking and uh, you know everything just goes to crap right after that deep hole uh, Roger and dad thanks for helping pull me out uh, but yeah I mean I lost a ton of time already we're like two minutes into the race at this point we might even be just four minutes into the race and I come up to what looks like a pond Come up to what looks like a pond. He points to the line, but watch! Almost did a front flip in that hole. But as you can see here, the way I'm standing, a foot to the right is pretty much level flat ground. And I went an inch too far to the left. I probably should have came in a little bit straighter, being that was a mud hole. But how are you supposed to expect that your your bike's gonna disappear as soon as you drop into the hole? Not not very good. But, you know, I also had nobody in front of me to gauge or where to pick the right line from. I'm probably a good two, two and a half minutes behind after all that. Uh, not good. But we're going to move on here to, I believe, uh, lap three maybe. Somewhere around that. I catch up to Noah Tankersley. This might be the end of lap two, actually. Catch up to him in the fields. And, you know, I'm trying to put the pieces together, but... Uh, I cut a lot of it out because after all those mud holes, I really just wasn't feeling that comfortable or uh, very confident with my line choices, so I was, I was very hesitant. And uh, you'll see some more examples of that ahead, but you know, I'm trying to put the pieces back together. <laughs> example of being a little too impatient I seen him going that way and I'm like oh no that is impossible I'm not gonna try that do a total 180 there's David almost hit him uh, look at all that time that I lost just from something stupid like that you know um, just line choices just using your head a little bit more um, and honestly I should have just followed some guys a little bit more and tried to not take my own line so much <laughs> Dude, 
when that happened, I should have just got off the track right there. But look at this. Like, I'm taking my time a little too much now at this point. But I come in, swing wide, hit the smooth line, don't get stuck. Uh, when I hit that tree, I'm like, dude, I am not riding very good at all. Um, my head wasn't in it. You can, you can kind of tell by just the way I'm riding that, you know, I'm just I'm just not into it right now. But uh, coming up here, lap further down, thanks to the Harwell boys, they pointed out this line. Um, it was pretty safe. Ended up working throughout the whole race. This rut got pretty deep, though. Oh, my God! Not that lap, though. But, uh, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> analysis on this so you'll you'll see i come in here a little bit kind of you know losing balance front end just goes over the berm there that little rut and uh you know down straight on the ground simple crash very frustrating when you think about it in the race because you're literally going in a straight line but you know that stuff happens when you're not you're not focused and uh you know not out there to ride and race at that point <laughs> Here's a nice example of a mud hole that could end your day. This poor guy. Uh, I think he was there for two laps, but he is absolutely buried. But, uh, you know, what can you do? Um, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a deep, deep hole. That's for sure. Me, this was my race ender. It was, it was the end for me. I had had enough, and I felt like I was a danger to myself at that point. That's it. I'm done. You know, not nothing crazy really was happening, but I was doing a lot of these dumb crashes, and for me, I felt like I was just, I was so far behind. I was better to just cut my losses and you know, not get hurt, because I was, you could just tell I'm just not mentally in it anymore, so. Thank you guys for watching, I appreciate you, uh, sitting through this mayhem and madness, um, you know, I guess some t key takeaways are, you know, make sure to not, uh, take dumb lines through the holes, make sure to always try to take the best lines, um, but also don't overthink it, because I think once I had a few issues, I started overthinking things, and that's not how, how you're supposed to go. And uh, just try to keep positive mindset, because at that point, I don't think I was keeping a very positive mindset, and it just it just ruins everything for the race. So, you know, try to try to keep those mistakes to a minimum, and uh, constantly, constantly work to do a little bit better. And uh, as you've seen from the North Carolina race, I think I was able to fix a few of those problems. So, thanks for watching.